What is up you guys, it is your boy John here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another On The Farm. How's everybody doing? I appreciate you guys clicking on the video. Today guys, we are doing something very interesting with the rye. We have a new theory on how to handle the rye for this year for the pumpkins. You guys know in the last video we fertilized. So what a difference one week and uh, some sunshine can make. So as you guys can probably tell, the rye is quite a bit taller this week compared to last week. That was actually about two weeks ago that we fertilized it with some uh, rain and uh, a little bit of sunshine. It is amazing what has happened to our rye. Just saying. So we've got an idea of something we're gonna try today. So let's get to it. All right, boys and girls, John Deere 111, two videos in a row. Aren't you guys lucky? This time some first person action from on the seat. It is honestly truly amazing how much this rye has grown in just two weeks with a little bit of fertilizer. We've had a lot of rain, but just realistically a little bit of fertilizer. So let me try and explain what dad's theory is here. This is dad's idea. I'm blaming it on dad. Anyway, um, so what we're doing is we mowed our paths with the John Deere and then we are, dad is tilling the paths where we just mowed. And our theory is we're trying to kill the rye because this, these are gonna be our rows of pumpkins that we're going to plant right here. And so the theory is if we could get a little loose dirt before we plant pumpkins and make mounds, basically, to promote drainage. Pumpkins like water, they just don't like to have wet feet. And that is a problem that we've had for a number of years now, honestly, with our pumpkins is they get wet and then they die. So by doing what we're doing, we're still gonna have our cover crop for where the vines are gonna grow, but where the actual plant's gonna be, there will be no rye. At least that's the theory. So you guys, outside of cutting the grass again here at the farm, which I don't think I can show you guys that again, can I? No. That's pretty much all we're gonna get in here, into here today. I will mention real fast that the wheat that is out here in front of the farm is looking fantastic. This is the wheat that the farmers have planted out here after corn last year. Uh, you might be able to see a corn stalk or two. 
they no-till right into the corn stalks with the wheat which means they don't work the soil in any way shape or form and they plant the wheat right out there they have fertilized this this spring already the other thing that i will mention here really fast is that they've planted corn here in the st louis area this field is in fact planted out here right next to the rye i will show you that right now so i don't know if you guys can tell maybe some of you that know what you're looking for you can see the rows this has been planted with corn and uh actually later today you guys can expect a drone video of the same tractor and planter that planted that field right there in a different field we didn't catch them in that field but we caught them in another one and uh yeah the same tractor same planter both john deere and uh, expect that later today anyway i think that's about all i have to do today i'm going to go blow off the john deere 111 that was a little dirty job for it not gonna lie but hey that's okay what's the point of having it if you don't use it right so anyway i'm gonna go blow that off cut the grass again and we're getting out of here for the day so thank you guys for watching another on the farm i do appreciate it have a great rest of your day and as always toodles